brothers and sisters, my generals, those who ride along, my leaders and teachers, the students that have been lifting this vibration of this world and helping our greater higher force, that greater creator, Mother Nature, Father Time, Universe, the forces I always talk about because in these times, brothers and sisters, we're in our families, whether we're reaching and teaching, wherever we are, melanation, melanated brothers and sisters, we need all the power from all the forces we can possibly muster up and handle because we got to have everything. All, all engines have to be have to be up and running, pistons firing, you know, as w while we have fun, I always got to mention that and enjoy our lives, but the times when we got to focus, we got to have all those pistons firing. And what pistons is that? Something I always say, mind, body, and soul, see, hear, and feel, and that good old psyche, and that's the center of it all. You study those, the other elements I just mentioned, they'll fall right in line because when the body and the mind in, is in the same accord, man, that inside will be on fire, and it'll vibrate on the outside because that's what it's all about. So I give, I give honors to thy ancestors who fought hard to get many of us in the state, in the space that we are in. Because that's what's, that's what's important, you know, studying that inner balance, man. It, we, but once we get to it, what we got to do? We have to study things to maintain it. So I honor our families. May all of our families prosper and everything we touch turn to gold. Salute those who've been viewing, my reachers and teachers out there, those I have learned from. Keep on forging forward. I know you see that divine moving because I see it. If I see it, I know others see it. Those who are divinely connected and true on this walk. And those in the beginning, I want to kind of speak up, speak to, you know, those that's been in this role for a while, putting that work in, pretty much know the things I'm going to say and I already have, have heard it, already know it. And they so, those who have been putting in that work, like I said, brother, sister, in our family, already know what I'm getting ready to say but those who are struggling because we all have been in that learning process so to speak but those who may be in the beginning stages of self-awareness and exploring new things have to come to a place of peace and knowledge will enter and what will get these things and knowledge to enter and how we get to peace and we also have to do things to maintain it because we can say get to peace and got to have peace but as we all know, those who have a heightened self-awareness, like I said, have put in that work, we have to do things to maintain it, whether it's reading, researching, maybe even listen to someone that's a little more knowledgeable. You know, we have to work on those things, too. It's a lot of elements to, first off, just being the rightest brother and sister as possible. We start there. Then we grow into the spiritual, you know, righteous spiritual. We've got to throw that righteous in there. And we'll we'll start to learn I, I want to say, you know, maybe different levels of spirituality because it's different for every individual, you know. And like I say, when you're first coming into like maybe reeducating yourself or learning new things and getting rid of old habits, it can be kind of weird and kind of challenging. I've been there, but you have to stick with it. You know, as long as you got good in your gut, you'll be all right. You'll go in the right direction, you know. And we listen to those, like I said, that might may be a little more knowledgeable than us, you know. When we're willing to learn, we'll find out different things that sometimes we're not aware of. So that's why it's good to come into a place of peace and meditate. You know, whether we some people say pray, some whatever space we get in when we're thinking to ourselves and we shut out all the noise. That's when the knowledge will enter. And I say enter because I mean like coming through our psyche because that's what every that's where everything lies in our I'll not lies if I say that right. You know, lays. That's what I mean. Sound sound funny like I'm saying lie, but you know, lies in the pit of our soul. You know, in our subconscious. You know, what we think, what we feel. You know, things we think about in the future. You know, uh, uh, reflection stuff like that. You know, things that go on that we when we're by ourselves. You know, moments by ourselves are very vital. Like I say, those times when we find that peace when we're not thinking about. No, nothing, whether it's positive or negative. When you're, when you're just, med that's what meditation is. And not, and not that you're not thinking about nothing, but you're just putting your mind at ease. So the right things can enter, you know. So that's what I mean when I say knowledge will enter. And we're talking about righteous knowledge, you know, because, you know, 
how do I have to say what we do righteous in the present? What benefit us? If you listen to me on this channel many times, fill in the blank. You know what I'm going to say. So and I always got to kind of reiterate. Why do we be righteous? Why do we seek good things for our mind, body and soul? Why do we look for good things that we can eat, breathe and see, you know, things that are good and clean for our psyche? What, what, why do we do this? Because of the great things that will come down the road. Not striving to be this perfect person, but we're striving with those perfect intentions inside. So a lot of us have family. You know, we have goals. You know, we have our own goals. But, you know, like our family could be our motivation, our children, you know, significant other. You know, uh, husband, wife, you know, brother, sister, you know. I let, like I say, unless you don't care about life or care about yourself, then life is not going to care about you. Because I'll say this from time to time. Life don't give a damn how we feel. Life is going to go on. Life is bigger than all of us. You know, so we're just we're just this is just a pit stop. You know, is when we transition is where we will really see what what life, you know, where there is no where there is life for some people after transition. I guess we'll never know, you know. Again, it goes back to that how we live our lives will determine how we transition. I won't get too much into that because I think I talked about that on the last podcast. So when we keep little things like that, introspect, introspection, you know, of things that that greater, higher, positive force has done in our lives and drop those those uh downloads in our spirit and the righteous spirit. And I always say, when do we get the best downloads in the morning? And why do they come in the morning? Because that's when our body is rested. We we get rest for a reason. The sun goes down for a reason. You know, we're supposed to get rest. We got to get rest because the body has to rejuvenate, you know, so we can get those creative juices flowing and whatever gift it is. You know, ain't always got to be speaking. But, man, my melanated brothers and sisters, whether in our family or in the world or online, we have so many freaking gifts. It's ridiculous because. A lot of us have, you know, that's been doing this for a while. We have learned to come into a place of peace, you know, and knowledge will enter, you know. But if you wrapped up, as we always say, if you wrapped up in toxic shit and you're petty and especially if you know better and you of age, and you know, you're arguing and you're gossiping and you mixed up in this and mixed up in that just ain't focused on nothing. How in the hell are you going to come to a? You'll never be in a place of peace, you know chaos you in the mix of chaos you never gonna come into a place of peace and this is a quote that just jumped into my spirit that tupac said tupac said i think he when he was talking about how he would wanted to be you know a righteous brother or whatever but he said how can you be an angel surrounded by devils real talk so the environment is very important how we live our lives too. the circles we in you know, because, you know, I mean, a lot of us have a strong mind, but it's still good to be in a righteous circle because who want to deal with drama? Real talk. So that's why we be in them right circles. You know, I don't care how this media and Instagram, you see things on Twitter and people making themselves look like they living the best life. You don't know what a, per a person is going going through inside. You know, that's some, not all. But people, because most people. Especially the brothers and sisters that I have come across, I have learned from, you know, that's right here online in the world. You'll know who really got that peace. Most most of your like minded reaches and teachers, whether young or, or older, you know, most of them, you won't even, they'll ha they don't have to tell you that they have come into a place of peace. You will see their life will show that they have peace. And that's what it's all about. When our vibration a show that we have peace in our life, because. Those that really have to push it, yeah, I, I got peace in my life and all that. You got to talk about it all the time. You really don't have that peace because, and it takes me back to like an example of Bruce Lee, which I'm looking at right now. And it's a picture of him meditating. And this is just an example. And there's many people like Bruce Lee. You know, you got brothers that's like this too. I'm just using Bruce Lee as an example because we all know how powerful Bruce Lee was. But he not only was he a good martial artist, he was also very stern and strong in his spirit. And he was a, he was a righteous. He was I, I want to say brother. I was going to say brother. He, I, he act like he was a brother. I call him a brother. He was a righteous brother. And, and you know, um, 
Bruce Lee had love in his heart. He he had no hate. That's one thing you can't you could say about him. You know, I don't know much about you know the rest of the culture and whatever, but Bruce Lee was a was was good at heart. You know, he just he just wanted to show the world. He wanted to share his gift to the world. That's how Bruce Lee was, and he he knew himself. You know, he didn't. He, you know, that's that piece. Like I, I said, uh, me and my son made, uh, uh, my son and I, uh, Lord Lamont, a, you know, Aaron, a.k.a. Lord Lamont. We talked about it in the podcast about how being silent is not easy as people think. So that's what brings me back to Bruce Lee. You know, I'm looking at a picture of him now. He in, he in a meditation mode, got his, got his eyes closed. And that's why he was so powerful, because he took moments and meditated and came, and came into that peace within himself. He never went into a situation and just jumped into it. He meditated about it, especially when he was getting ready to fight. I'm sure he never went into a fight and he he never uh, underestimated the other opponent. That was one of his his um, one of his rules in his book. I remember reading his book years ago. It was just a little thin paper book. But I remember I read the whole thing. And that was one of the things he said in there. Never underestimate your opponent and never fight with anger always have a cause fight with honor you know not just because and those are some good tools that he left behind you know as well as malcolm x and many others you know just like them and sisters too you know and that's what i take away from uh from bruce lee you know and that's the legacy and like i said many other brothers and sisters that transition left left a great mag, uh, legacy you know and he's just one of many you know so and that's i'm just using him as an example of Man, a prime example of coming into peace and you can manifest so many great things. I know we hear that a lot, but when you experience it in your life and you see it in others lives, whether it's in our family, children, you know, if you're with someone, whether brother or sister, you know, even if you're not with nobody and we're by ourselves. If you come into a, a come into a place of peace, real peace, when you get to that inner core, you know, when you let nothing affect that. We will see so much and knowledge can enter and you only the great things because when you engulf yourself in righteousness, you will only see only right knowledge will enter. You know, you won't even see the bad. Now, the bad will try to come. The negative will try to get in there. But if you stay on it, just ask those that's been doing this for a while. They've been teaching, uh, I would say, African spirituality or righteous spirituality because got to put that righteous on there because there are many different. I don't I don't call evil entities spirits, but, you know, you hear those teach about there can be evil spirits. But to me, if you evil, you ain't a spirit. You just an empty space. Why are you here? You know, so that's what I think about evil entities. And that can be person, place or thing. You know, I treat life like a noun. I said that in a song. And um, that's in the song I made recently. Um, what the song I just made recently? What is it called? I can't remember what the song I made. Oh, it's called Be a General. And uh, I put it in the end screen, you know, it's called be a general. And it's just a kind of a metaphor for, you know, being in our higher self, you know. And what's the way we'll get to our higher selves that you hear so many of us talk about? Brothers and sisters out there, those who are listening, man, we have to come to a place of peace. And that's deep, deep within, deep, deep, deep. I'm talking about deep, deep within, underneath all the bullshit. Once we sift through all that, get all that crap out the way, man, we'll be at peace all the time. We'll know how to come into peace in every situation we come into, you know. And we we'll, we we'll, are that the peace in us will vibrate so hard. Those that have those that have evil within, they'll be scared to approach us. Real talk. That's how deep, you know, that peace can be when when you're real with it, though, you know. And knowledge will enter. You know, block out all bad shit that we don't need in our psyche. And I always say, don't listen to the flesh. Flesh ain't shit. You know, I say that a lot, so I won't go into it too deep. But never, ever listen to that flesh because you can't come into a place of peace if you let that shield of flesh block you. Because pe- where where can you find that that higher force, that great divine peace? Deep, 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 deep within, as I just said a few minutes ago. So the flesh can block that. Real talk. And I'm telling you, impulses, man, study our impulses. That will help us maintain peace. You know, impulses are very, very important. You hear me talk about that probably every other podcast. Because what did I say? In the world, social media, Hollywood, 
The government, just take a look around. Impulses are out of control. And I'm talking about toxic ones. So those who are righteous and got a good mind, be thankful. You know, Great Divine has more for us. He, great, we, we just getting started. Those who reaching and teaching out here and, and lifting those up got that power. We just getting started. This is just, this is not even all the power that we have. We just sowing some of it. We just getting started. So as I said to my listeners, those who listen, those in the beginning that might be struggling a little bit, the only way you're going to find that inner peace is to come into a place of peace. But we have to do this on purpose, you know. We have to make time for peace so that knowledge can enter. And where is that knowledge coming from? From Mother Nature, Universe, the Greater Creator, Father Time. You know, just keep living, as my grandmother used to say. May she rest in peace and in power. Because life is always the best lesson. But, you know, when you're an encouraging brother, you're an encouraging sister, young or old, and you have that fire in your gut, you have nothing to worry about. Because when you have that fire and you connect it and you've been doing it for a while, you have found that peace because you have, have accepted righteous knowledge, not this toxic shit out here. So stand up, stay tall. You know, great divine always got those who are righteous. So that's my thought. And uh, thank those for coming in to another edition of EBX Discussion and another nature podcast. That's why I wanted to show this image, you know. And it's a, see this beautiful sunrise, and I do these all the time, you know. Picture yourself there on this banner where I'm showing on my banner, you know. That's a place of peace. Think of that. We can do that in our mind, you know. We can be at a place of peace wherever we are. You know, we are powerful. We got to know this. So I honor my family. I honor your family. I honor my children, their mothers, brothers and sisters all over the world. May you please keep that ultimate peace in your part of the world, wherever you are right now. Salute and fight whatever you have to do. Fight to keep that peace. Salute.